The first map being Oregon, and the first Valkyrie camera I'm gonna have you do is on the top of this wooden chase after you break the wood, right about there. This Valkyrie camera can see all of Attic and Lower Attic, as well as all of Trophy and even into Master through the door, so it is a great Valkyrie camera. Now what about if you're playing in basement? Well I actually recommend you put a Valkyrie camera below this light bulb right here. If you've watched any of my Valkyrie camera videos, you know that light bulbs are great for hiding Valkyrie cameras, because if you were an attacker and you didn't know this was a Valk cam, it would just look like it's a part of the light bulb, and it gets drowned out very easily, while still providing a great amount of information on anybody inside of construction, so it's a great camera. But instead of pushing that side, what if they push main stairs? Well, then having a Valkyrie camera on the left side of this plumbing pipe right about here is a great option. This Valkyrie camera sees mostly all of the main laundry entrance, while also giving you a sound call for anybody on main stairs. In order to get to main stairs though, they have to come through main lobby, which is why having a Valkyrie camera next to these sandbags is so good. Because this Valkyrie camera can see all of main lobby, while also giving you a sound cue for all of the top of main stairs, as well as anybody trying to get open this hatch for basement. So this this works for either sites. And then finally, we have a Valkyrie camera for dining. For this camera, you're going to throw it under this TV stand right here. That Valkyrie camera right there not only is hard to spot, but it sees all of dining and into the dining hallway, and acts as a great cutoff camera if you're playing inside of kitchen and meeting, or even kitchen and dining for that matter, so it is an outstanding camera. Now that was just one out of 16 different maps that I'll be going over in today's video. The next map of which is going to be Clubhouse. For the first camera, make your way up into rafters. Then grab your Valkyrie camera and throw it on the right side of these black pipes next to the generator, just like that. Now yes, this Valkyrie camera can see all of rafters and most of lower garage, but the best part about this camera is they can't see it from the front door until they walk all the way up to about right here. But if they're right here, the last place they'll be looking is in the top left, because they'll be way too busy looking at anybody in rafters or anybody on red stairs. If they try to push backside though, another great Valkyrie camera is this one on the light bulb in construction. As you can see, it just looks like the light bulb, and if you were an attacker, you definitely think it was. But it sees all of construction, as well as the window and the wall and the doorway leading into it, which makes it the perfect Valkyrie camera for this room. Let's say, however, that they want to push the basement. Well, having a Valkyrie camera on the right side of this ammo case right here is amazing. It can see all of the main hallway and the main double door, which is absolutely great, but it also gives you a sound call for anybody coming down blue stairs and anybody planting behind the box right here. So, it's good in those ways too. Another great Valkyrie camera is under the staircase just like this. If anyone is in garage, they're not going to find that Valkyrie camera because it's under the staircase. But the main point of that Valkyrie camera is to see players like me running down oil pit whenever you're playing the basement site. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Not only can it see into oil pit, but it can also see a large majority of lower garage and even onto the red stairs over there as you can see. Now the final Valkyrie camera that I recommend is in kitchen if you're playing the basement. What you'll do is you'll get on top of this hatch and then you'll prone. You'll fill your Valkyrie camera so that it is actually on the bottom side of this shelf just like that. Now, if attackers are in kitchen and they crouch, they won't actually be able to find the Valkyrie camera. But as you can see, this Valkyrie camera gives you enough information so that if anybody walks up to right here, you can have a below nitro cell right here to kill them. So it's a great Valkyrie camera nonetheless. On Chalet though, I have some even better Valkyrie cameras. The first of which is going to go under this light bulb in between the leaves, just like this. This Valkyrie camera can see all of lower lobby, which is great if you're trying to play in the basement site, but as you can see it's covered by a bunch of leaves which makes it pretty hard to spot. If they're pushing the basement though, then having information on this split hallway if they try to take vert or go into kitchen on this hatch is great. Which is why with your deagle, you're going to shoot open this part of the floor in Big Garage. Then, you're going to throw your Valkyrie camera under the shelf just like that. Now, this Valkyrie camera actually isn't for the basement. It's so you can look up and see all of the split hall for trophy side of the map. This is great if you need to watch for upstairs, solar control, or again if you need to watch this side of the map for kitchen if you want to see if they're pushing down your west main stairs. Another Valkyrie camera that is great for the basement is this one under this power generator next to the boat right here. This Valkyrie camera can see anybody on the wall as well as give a sound call for anybody on blue stairs. It's great if you want to deny a plant or if you just want general information on the site. Now let's say you're playing upstairs instead. A great Valkyrie camera to have is exactly where my laser is, right about there. This Valkyrie camera can see all of the canine balcony and if anybody's trying to get the wall open, which is useful if you're playing on top library right here and you want to be able to shoot any of the ace charges on the wall from there or from over here for absolutely free. It also can see most of lower fireplace as well, 
which is great. The final Valkyrie camera I have for you is one that goes in this corner right here. This Valkyrie camera can see all of anybody in display case trying to swing your double door for piano. It's a great camera. The next map I'll be bringing you to is Villa. The first camera I'll be giving you is for study. What you're going to do is you throw a Valkyrie camera under this lamp right about here. This Valkyrie camera can see all of study, and even though it might look really obvious because it gets drowned out by the light, no one ever seems to find this in my ranked games. For this camera, make sure that you throw a nitro cell below the door right about here. This will make it to where if anybody walks in the door, you can easily explode the C4 and get a free kill. And now you also have a vert angle you can use to shoot anybody that's on the other side of the door. You can even preemptively break this floor open here and throw a nitro cell through the floor, through the door, to get anybody that's still on the balcony. The second camera I'd recommend is in between this blue pot and brown pot under the red bench on top landing, right about here. This Valkyrie camera can see all the way into 90, give you a sound call for anybody in Brick, as well as anybody trying to push up your skull door for Aviator. But if you want a better Valkyrie camera for the red stairs, all you have to do is throw a Valkyrie camera on the chandelier right there. Preferably, you want to land it on the light behind the chandelier. I accidentally landed it on the chandelier, but you get the idea. It sees all of red stairs into 90, top landing, whatever it may be. It's a great camera. The next Valkyrie camera I recommend is behind these leaves in the bookshelf, just like this. This Valkyrie camera is great for a sound call on top main as well as anybody on the left side of 90. For the final Valkyrie camera, make your way into laundry. Then on the left side of the hatch, right about here, you're going to deagle open the floor. Once a portion of the floor is deagled open, you'll throw a Valkyrie camera on the ceiling right here. But wait, that's not a ceiling. That's actually the bed inside of Master. Now, you can see pretty much anybody inside of Master and their feet, and if you position your camera a little more to the right, it'll be even harder to spot while still giving you a great amount of information and sound cues that you can use to call out to your teammates. Moving on to Canal, I have some even crazier Valkyrie cameras. The first one I'll be going over is above these monitors right next to the vents right about there. This Valkyrie camera can see all of Skybridge, as well as a little bit into the site if they try to get the default plant behind the bomb here. For the next Valkyrie camera, throw it behind this little box mover right here and above the ladder. This camera can watch all of 90, as well as anybody trying to enter through the doorway up red stairs or anybody going up green stairs. It's good for especially the window hop-ins as well. Moving on to the basement, your next Valkyrie camera is going to inside of the printer just like this. It's dark enough to hide your Valkyrie camera, and as you can see, it provides a great amount of information. You can also prep a nitro cell below this door, and once you see them on your camera, you can blow it up and get a free kill. The best part about this specifically too is it's not above the closet, so it's not like you'll blow up the nitro and now they have vert on the closet. They'll just have vert on the door, which is great. For your next Valkyrie camera, I recommend you put it right next to these power generators right there. This Valkyrie camera can give you a sound call for the main white stairs, as well as a visual for anybody coming in through the trench door or anybody on the bathroom door. For the final Valkyrie camera, you're going to throw your camera under the vending machine right there. If people are standing up, they're not going to find this camera, but this camera definitely will find them. It gives a great 180 visual for anybody that is attacking the top of the floor for basement. Now that was just five out of 16 maps in this video, and these get crazier and crazier as the video goes on, so make sure that you stick to the end. The next map of which being Bank. For the first camera, make your way into Loan Office. Then using the new guideline feature, throw a Valkyrie camera on top of this pillar right here. This Valkyrie camera will give you a full visual onto anybody in lobby. And as an attacker, that is almost impossible to see. The second Valkyrie camera you'll use is on the mirror on this armored truck right here. If you turn this Valkyrie camera to the right, you can clearly see the entrance into garage. Now, even if they see this Valkyrie camera, which I doubt they will, they won't even be able to shoot it, because like I said, it's an armored truck, which means this has bulletproof glass. For the next Valkyrie camera, put it on top of these orange pipes right about, let's say, there. Now, as you can see from an attacker's POV, this is pretty hard to spot, and because attackers are holding pixels through this door a lot of the times, they're not going to see that Valkyrie camera. But as you guessed, this Valkyrie camera can clearly see them, so it's a great camera to use. If you're playing top floor, you need a Valkyrie camera for top square. To do this, all you need to do is throw a Valkyrie camera in between these plants right here. Now, the leaves of this plant actually cover the Valkyrie camera perfectly, but when you get on it, as you can see, it still gives you a full visual onto anybody on the square door. You can use this to get a below nitro cell right here easily to kill anybody on the double door, or you can shoot them through the door, or you can throw the nitro cell through the door through vert holes you make with your deagle. Either way, it's a great Valkyrie camera and strategy. Your final Valkyrie camera is going to go in between these files and these books right there. This camera can see anybody in open area on the right side, as well as anybody on 
this window right here or anybody in this room. It's great because it's so common that attackers push here. It also can see the hatch drop or anybody that dropped the hatch who plants behind this filing cabinet. So it's great to have this Valkyrie camera. An even better map for Valkyrie is Consulate. The first Valkyrie camera is going behind these leaves under the bench, just like this. This Valkyrie camera can see all of top yellow, the yellow skylight drop, and anybody trying to push the doorway here, or the bathroom hall. It's a very good Valkyrie camera. For the next Valkyrie camera, make your way inside of this hallway, then throw the Valkyrie camera on the right side of this windowsill, just like that. This Valkyrie camera can see all of the admin hallway, leading into sight, leading into this hallway, or leading into reception. It's a great Valkyrie camera that gives a lot of information at such a low price. If you want a Valkyrie camera for the basement though, I definitely recommend this one on the light bulb, just like that. It sees all of the backside of basement as well as even into the spiral hallway over there, and it's on a light bulb, so it's not really going to be noticed by a lot of attackers, especially if you're not red pinging. A better Valkyrie camera than that though is the one that goes inside of this tire, right here. This camera can see the breach, and it can see the red car, so if they plant either or near both, you can see them and easily win the post plant. For the final Valkyrie camera, it's really useful if you're on either one of the first floor sites. All you'll need is two Valkyrie cameras left over. The first one's going to go on this white pillar right here, and the second one you're going to bounce off of that Valkyrie camera into the pot of plants, just like that. You bounce it off of the other one, that way this Valkyrie camera doesn't actually break the plants. And yes, you are still able to pick up that first Valkyrie camera, so it's not like you're wasting two. Again, the reason you bounce it is so it doesn't break the plants, because if you were to throw a Valkyrie camera just straight on the plants, it would break the plants kind of like that just did there. So you always want to bounce them if you're trying to hide them inside of leaves. Going on to Cafe, let's look at some more Valkyrie cameras. For the first one, you'll break this wooden railing right here with your deagle. Break it all the way to where it connects to the wall, because you're going to throw the Valkyrie camera in between this cigar dresser and this wall here. This Valkyrie camera can see all of Pillar, which is actually its main purpose, so it's good for bottom floor sites, but it also can see most of the top stairs as well, and it gives you a sound call for anybody dropping the new hatch, so it's good for the top floor site too. For the next Valkyrie camera, throw it on top of this light on the chandelier just like that. This Valkyrie camera can give you a full 360 of all of Piano. Mainly though, its main purpose is to look at anybody coming in through Ticket, and as an attacker, unless you're looking for it, this is pretty hard to see because it's kind of drowned out by the light, which makes it an excellent Valkyrie camera. For the next camera, you're going to prone in the restaurant, throw it under the restaurant table just like this, and then get on your camera. As you can see, it gives you a clear view all the way into Small Bakery through this entire hallway, as well as anybody on the brown stairs, and you get an audio cue if anybody hops in this window. So, if you're playing inside of Whiskey, this camera's great, because you can swing off of any of the information, while also being able to swing off of anybody in Small Bakery. Now, having a Valkyrie camera in actual bakery is just as important, which is why I recommend that you throw a Valkyrie camera right on this light, just like that. Now, because there's light coming off of it, it looks like it's just a light bulb, but when you get on it, you have a pretty clear view of Bakery. So, if you ever give up Bakery, this camera is great. Your final Valkyrie camera is going to go under this little wine table, just like that. It's good if you're holding the mid floor, because a lot of people will push white stairs if you're playing inside of reading. So having a Valkyrie camera that can see white stairs but also see into the site hallway is crucial. If there's feet holes all along here as well, you can even see into the site and the site rotate and the hatch drop. So this camera is fantastic. Now let's move to Border, one of Valkyrie's best maps. For the first camera, you'll put it on this light bulb inside of Armory. Again, it's on a light bulb, so it won't get found. And also it gives you all of Armory and information for anybody hopping in the wall or getting a plant down, because the sound cue does actually reach this camera. So it's one of the best cameras in the game. Speaking of cameras on light bulbs, you can get a camera on top metal on one of these light bulbs right here. This Valkyrie camera can see all of top and bottom metal, as well as a little bit into the 90 hallway. The best part about this camera is you can pair it up with a nitro cell for top main. If you see anybody on the top main stairs, you can blow the nitro cell up and kill anybody rushing up the staircase early in the round. Your next Valkyrie camera will be inside of Customs, where you'll put a Valkyrie camera under this Customs desk right here. This Valkyrie camera can see anybody in this hallway, and attackers will love to be in this hallway if they're pushing from the double door when attacking the first floor bathroom bomb site. so this Valkyrie camera specifically is great for that. It can also see if anyone's in customs, or anyone rushing in through jail, through customs, into that hallway, so it's a great camera. Moving from customs all the way into jail, what you're going to do is deagle out this portion of the floor right here. Once you've done that, you can throw your camera. Now, this camera isn't complete, because as you can see, it really can't see much right now. But if you make your way into CC, you can shoot out these TVs right here. This makes it to where your camera can see all of CC, which is amazing if you're on the top floor bomb site. 
For the final Valkyrie camera, make your way to top east balcony. You're gonna throw your Valkyrie camera on the right side of this AC vent right here. Then get on your Valkyrie camera and now you can see all of the top square hallway and bottom square. So if you're playing inside of bathroom and tellers, this is a great camera to watch these windows, this double door and the passport double door as well as anybody in square. Next, let's move on to skyscraper. Your first Valkyrie camera is going to go on the middle wine shelf behind bar, right here. This Valkyrie camera can see a lot of the first floor if you're playing the second floor bombsite in karaoke. It can even see into the bathroom door, so if anyone's trying to rush bathroom, you'll know about it with that camera. For the next Valkyrie camera, make your way inside of office. Then shoot out this little wooden cubby right here. Once you've done that, throw your Valkyrie camera inside of the cubby. Then, once you get on it, you have a clear view of anybody inside of office or anybody hopping in through the window. So it's great if you're actually playing the bomb site here and you give up the wall, so if anyone plants behind the desk, you'll get a clear view of them. For the next Valkyrie camera, make your way inside of drum. What you'll do is throw the camera inside of this wine case right here. This Valkyrie camera will watch all of drum, the drum hallway, give you a sound call for karaoke and a sound call for terrace and give you a visual for the terrace door. So it gives you a lot of information. For the next Valkyrie camera, make your way into karaoke. Throw your Valkyrie camera above these black bottles right here. This camera watches the default plant spot. And if you have a rotate right here, it can watch the top of black stairs as well. So you can get a below nitro cell right here with the information provided by this camera. And then finally, you'll want a Valkyrie camera for brown stairs. So throw your Valkyrie camera in the top left corner, just like that. As you can see, you can watch the entire staircase, as well as even into the hallway. So it's one of the best cameras in this video. Now let's make our way onto some people's favorite map, Coastline. For the first camera, you're going to prone in hookah and throw your Valkyrie camera under this desk, just like this. Now they can't actually see this from the door. And unless they upside down repel, they can't see it from the window either. But you can clearly see the plant spot right here, which gives you the ability to have a below nitro in sunrise. Next, let's move into aqua, where you throw your Valkyrie camera under this little coral right here. Now it's the same color as the background, so it's actually pretty hidden. But it can see all the way into the luggage hall as well as anybody inside of Aqua, so it's a great camera if you're upstairs. If you're playing downstairs though, having a camera in VIP is very important. The best camera that I can reliably give you is under this black table right here on top of the gray case, just like that. You can still see the feet of anybody trying to play vert, but because it's under a black box, they likely won't be playing vert here so they can't destroy your camera. And unless they're crouched right here, they're not going to see it in the first place, so it's very hard to find and gives a lot of information. One of the best places to have a Valkyrie camera is in Courtyard. Me personally, I like ones that hide inside of plants, kind of like that. It's not too hidden, but it's hidden enough to where some people will just kind of glance over it. The coolest part about this camera is yes, it sees Courtyard, but it also sees inside of the Sunrise door all the way into the mini bar in Sunrise, so it gives a lot of information. For the final Valkyrie camera on Coastline, make your way into Service. You're going to throw your Valkyrie camera inside of this shelf just like this. This Valkyrie camera can watch if anybody's planting inside of this site, and it can also see into the kitchen hall. But because it's behind a shelf here, if anyone's attacking, they're looking this way. They're never going to turn around, so this Valkyrie camera will stay alive a lot of the times. Now, let's move on to one of Valkyrie's best maps, which is going to be Theme Park. The first Valkyrie camera I recommend for Theme Park is where you shoot out these little wooden pillars here, and then throw the Valkyrie camera on this wooden chase just like that. This Valkyrie camera can see all of Dragon, whether it be Top Dragon or Bottom Dragon, but it can also see anybody inside of the reception room if you're playing upstairs, so it's one of the best Valkyrie cameras in the entire game. The next Valkyrie camera, you need one watching the hallway. Best one I can give you is the one in between this yellow gas canister and this orange scaffolding leg. Right about there. This Valkyrie camera can watch yellow stairs, but mainly it watches this hallway that I talked about earlier, which is super important if you're holding one of the upstairs bomb sites. The next place you need a camera is in Cafe. And honestly, one of the best cameras I can give you is literally just right there. This is impossible to see if anybody's coming in through the door, as you can see. But it's good enough for an audio cue, so if you hear them walk in right here, you can get a below nitro cell. And because if you're walking through the door, your crosshair is typically over here, even when you pass the camera, you're never going to see it. For the fourth Valkyrie camera, you're going to put one on the stem of the UFO hanging from the ceiling, just like that. Now, because our brains are really good at recognizing patterns, most people will see a ring here, a smaller ring here, a smaller ring here, and assume that this circle is an even smaller ring. They won't assume that that's a Valkyrie camera, unless of course you're on it and the bright light is shining. But on this camera, you can see all of top arcade and bottom arcade, which is specifically good for the bunks bomb site. If you want to play the bottom floor bomb site though, then use this camera for maintenance, where you'll throw the Valkyrie camera right above these chains next to the bumper cars right there. 
This Valkyrie camera can see all of maintenance, and it's actually pretty hard to destroy as you can see. It's like almost actually bulletproof unless they get a grenade or they shoot right in between the squares, but even then, no, it's, it's, it's bulletproof. They can't even shoot this, so it's a really good camera. Now moving on to one of the most underrated maps for Valkyrie Outback. The first camera is going to go above this wall on the rafters just like this. Now, this Valkyrie camera can see all of office, even into bowl, but mainly it can also see all of garage and the garage stairs. So, it gives you so much information and no one thinks to look up here for Valkyrie cameras for whatever reason. For the next Valkyrie camera, move all the way on the left side of this hatch, into the wall, then aim your crosshair with this black flag right here, and above the speaker. You should end up right about there. As you can see when you're in bolt, you're unable to even see this Valkyrie camera. But the Valkyrie camera can see you easily. So it's a great Valkyrie camera for bull if you're playing either one of the top floor sites. For the next camera, you should throw a Valkyrie camera inside of this light right here. It's not obvious if you're in the shark hall that it's going to be in the light, and the grating will actually protect it sometimes too, but when you get on the camera, it's still very obvious as to anybody who's going to top shark. So it's a great camera for the top floor sites. If you're playing in piano though, I definitely recommend that you have a Valkyrie camera on the left side of this orange couch here. This Valkyrie camera will give you a sound call for anybody in Picnic, but it also sees all the way into the long hallway and the top of the motel stairs as well, which makes it super good. Now finally, if you make it to the bottom floor site, I recommend throwing a Valkyrie camera under this couch right here. This camera can see all of Reptile Hallway, which is important information if you're playing the bedroom sites in the first place. Moving on to a super fun map, Emerald Plains. The first Valkyrie camera is going to go onto this chandelier right here, kind of the same for Villa. This Valkyrie camera can see anybody in Green Hall, and it even sees a little bit of green stairs as well, mostly giving you an audio cue for it though. The next Valkyrie camera is going to go in this bookshelf behind the ladder, just like that. This Valkyrie camera can see mostly all of Library, and the Library stairs, so it's good if you're playing a top floor bomb site. If you're playing in Statue though, I recommend you have a Valkyrie camera for Orange Hall, which is why the Valkyrie camera under this display case is going to be your best friend. It can see all of Top Orange, all of Clocks, and even into the Orange Hallway, which is why it's so good. For the next Valkyrie camera, throw it in the top left corner inside of Freezer. If they open up this breach, or if they hop in this window, there's so many angles contesting them that the last place that they're going to put their crosshair is all the way up there. So, not only is it hidden in dark, but they're never going to see it, and it sees all of them, which is why it's so good. Now for the final Emerald Plains Valkyrie camera, you're going to throw it on this light above this painting right here. This will see all of statue and paintings if you're playing this bombsite, or even if you're playing the other bombsite, it's still very useful. On Nighthaven Labs though, I have even more useful Valkyrie cameras. The first of which is going to be for rafters. What you'll do is throw it through this little grate right here and through the plants, just like that. Now this Valkyrie camera can see all of top rafters, and even the rafters door here, which is super helpful if you have a teammate trying to hold this position. The next Valkyrie camera will be for bottom floor, the first of which is going to go on the left side of this file right here. The purpose of this Valkyrie camera is to let them walk in, and then hop on top of this box for the default plant, because the only possible way they'll see this Valkyrie camera is if they get far enough to get on top of this box to plant it in the first place, but that's exactly where you'll be seen on the Valkyrie camera, so it's really just meant for this plant spot. If you want a more all-encompassing Valkyrie camera for this spot specifically, all you have to do is throw it really above these boxes here, because when they come in through these walls and they try to get a plant down, the last place their crosshair is going to be out of all of these angles is all the way up here. Yet, this Valkyrie camera can see every possible place they'd want to plant, which is why it's so good. If you're playing basement, or even if you're playing first floor kitchen, you need a Valkyrie camera for this hallway, which is why having a Valkyrie camera in between this plant and this wall right here is so good. Because if they're coming from this door, they can't see the Valkyrie camera, and if they're coming from the stairs, they can't see it either, unless they're looking directly at it. But this Valkyrie camera has an audio cue for both of these spots, and can even see anybody running up to this wall or to this door. Now if you're holding mid-floor, you need information on this wall, which is why you need to put a Valkyrie camera on this wall behind these leaves. This Valkyrie camera can perfectly see the wall that's over there, so if you want to know if they're getting it open or when they're going to run in the plant, now you can know. Moving on to Layer, our final map. Firstly, you'll need a Valkyrie camera right here in this gap in the ceiling. Nobody in my elo at least in champ has discovered that you can actually shoot a Valkyrie camera here so this hasn't actually died yet because the map is so new, but it can clearly see anybody rushing this hallway as long as you don't red ping them, and it also sees mostly the bottom of the armory hallway so it's a really really good camera. Moving on let's talk about the basement, where you're going to throw your Valkyrie camera in one of these V's right there. 
This Valkyrie camera can see all of Big Garage and the right side of it, and any entrances they may use to try to get to sight, as well as the wall they might try to use to get into Armory. So it's an outstanding camera. Now typically people love to plant in this site, so having a Valkyrie camera in the top right corner right here is crucial to deny their plant. It can see the entire site, as well as give you an audio cue for this door and see into the door across from the side as well. Another popular place that attackers love to push is from shooting range. So if you want a Valkyrie camera for this room whenever they're trying to break open the wall to the mid floor site, you can literally just stick it right next to these shipping containers here. Because when they come in from shooting range, their crosshair is going to be on this door and on this wall the entire time. So as long as you're not red pinging them, they will never find that camera. As you can see, it can clearly see them though, as well as give audio calls to anybody who's on the left side of this box here. One of the more important hallways to put a Valkyrie camera for the mid floor sites is in this hallway. So make sure that you stick a Valkyrie camera behind the AC vent here. Now you have a direct line of sight onto the door, as well as an audio call for anybody in the hallway and a visual on anybody in the stairs. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Check out this next video. My name's Alka, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.